the positioned transition widget. This is what you will have at the end. So let's start first by creating the with single ticker provider state mixin because we will need this later. Then you will create an animation controller controller. This one will need inside the duration, which will be two seconds and the vsync this. This is available because we use the single ticker provider state mixin. Next, you will say dot repeat and the reverse will be through. It will allow the animation to go back and forth. When you use a controller, make sure that you dispose it with the dispose method. Next, you will create two variables, a double small logo and a double big logo, because on the top it's smaller and on the bottom it's bigger. And now it's time to use the layout builder. This one will have the context and the constraints. Inside, you will create a variable biggest, which will be the constraints.biggest. You will then return a stack widget. Inside, you will add the positioned transition. The rect will be a relative rect tween that animate. To create what you see on the screen, you will need to put things inside the relative rect tween. The first one is the begin. It will use a relative rect dot from size and the end will use the same thing. But now let's add the logic inside it. For the begin, we will use the rect dot from left top with height. And this is all the logic for the position of the widget. At the end of the animation, we will create a different logic. You see that we use the biggest dot width and biggest dot height. This is coming from the variable we created at the start. After this, inside the animate, you will use the curved animation. Inside you have the parent, which is the controller you created at the start, and the curve, which is the slow middle. You can see the animation is slower in the middle. The next thing you need is a child, which will be the padding. Inside we have a container, a shape circle, and the color orange. And with all of this, you will create an animation like this one. 